back up and running once again. Thanks for sticking with us. Ta-da! Here's the funny thing. I drove past them twice. Scott's just driven past them once. I've driven past them a third time before they popped out and we realized that they were there. And there we go. <laughs> the Angama Lion Cubs. As to where the lionesses are, oh, your guess is as good as mine. But there are lion cubs there. So we might not have found the ladies, but we found their babies. <laughs> that sounded really weird. <laughs> Hello, little ones. Thank you for showing up. I really appreciate it. The same seven that we saw on the sunrise safari this morning, they then dashed off and hid away. And we've got the little ones. Now, I'm just wondering whether or not James and company actually saw the adult lionesses, or if it was just the cubs that they saw. Um, perhaps if we could put forward some inquiries as to the answer to that. And perfect timing as well, Dave, isn't it? Oh, look at the little boy at the back with his tiny, tiny little mane that started to grow. All that fluffiness around his cheeks. Hey, little boy. You're terribly sweet. Aww. Hey, how come he's getting all the attention? I want some as well. Hello, beautiful cats. So, the seven Angama cubs. I'm very curious to know whether or not a Steph, ah, oh, Steph, James, oh goodness, the name's always the first to go, Dave, um, whether or not James and them, or Kirsty, or whoever happened to be in that vehicle, whether they saw the adult lionesses, they did say they were on this side of the drainage line, or that side of the drainage line, we're on the wrong side, as it happens, but I think I'm going to stick on the wrong side, actually. We've got a nice view. <laughs> oh dear. Rebecca, please tell Scott that he also drove past them. Speaking of Scott, <laughs> let's go and have a look at Scott's gorgeous view. <laughs> 